Hello there, this is the Wandering Historian coming to you live for the first time. Today I'm at my new base, McCord Air Force Base, and here at the Memorial Walk. This is where everyone who's ever passed or passed units or POWs are memorialized here at McCord. As you can see, the beginning is a memorial to the 36th Airlift Squadron and the people they lost. And the park itself is not very big, but it is quite impactful for the size. So join me as we walk down the memorial pathway. As you'll see, people can buy, still to this day, bricks that allow them to memorialize their own service member, whether they be Army Air Corps prior to 1947 or U.S. Air Force. Hopefully this video will lead to other live videos that you get to see. As we walk down, you'll see more and more bricks that are dedicated to family members. And every now and then you get larger groups that are dedicated to units or something else. But typically they're broken up in sections of, I believe I counted about 16. And as we walk up to the first area, which is right over here, you can see that there is still a box you can get applications for buying a memorial brick or donating a bench. So this is the box I was talking about and for the memorial grove as they call it those are the applications are. I do apologize if I'm moving a little too fast. So this first one you can see here most of these with the exception of that one there are planes that were used or are currently used by the Air Force units here at McCord. Now the two units that are here are the 62nd Airlift Wing and the 446th Airlift Wing. One of the privileges I get in life is to be a military historian for the United States Air Force. So this first one you can see is a C-54 Skymaster. It's one of the older planes and the air park itself we'll do a video on later. But mostly what I noticed is that everybody who's here probably somehow is associated with the C-54. Next we have the C-82 troop carrier. And at next, there isn't a model of it, but it is the C-24. Old shaky as it's written there, the Globemaster II. Now, currently they're flying something much, much bigger which replaced this one here, the C-141 Starlifter. As I was saying, the Starlifter is what they were flying until the Globemaster III came out, and that was in the early 2000s. Next, we have the C-130 Hercules. If anybody's ever been to airborne school or something like that, they know this plane. In fact, there's the very famous Army cadence, the C-130 rolling down the strip. And then finally, the C-17. Again, a very large aircraft. Most of the air wings here, in fact, both of them are airlift wings, which means they're moving troops, they're moving equipment. In short, if you need something, they're the people who are gonna deliver it. They deploy a lot and they deploy often. Now this memorial park, or memorial grove, or walk, or whatever you'd like to call it, is located about 900 meters inside of the gate. If you don't, as you can see here, this is what this one is dedicated to. I'll let you get a little closer so you can read this, but you can see these men of the sky. Now, as I was saying, is that 900 meters and the front gate is down that way inside the gate. If you don't have access through a military identification card, then you'll need to go to the visitor center and talk to them about getting access. I really recommend that if you do want to come visit McCord and see some of these things that I'm going to be showing you, that you call in advance and see what you will need in order to 
make sure that you can make your visit as easy as possible. I'm trying to show you all the memorials here, being my first live video. I'm hoping it's enjoyable. Hopefully it won't be too terribly long, but I want you to see everything we can. Now, as I mentioned, you can actually still donate benches, which some people have done. Obviously, the rain has washed away a lot of what these were. But as you can see, this is obviously a spot where a lot of people purchase bricks. And as you can see right here, they're numbered in different sections. I do apologize for my sniffling. It's about 50 degrees outside and coming from Okinawa, it's very cold for me. So back to my topic of getting onto the base. I recommend you call ahead and make sure you have all the documents ready and necessary. McCord and Lewis really have a very interesting history and it's well worth visiting and taking a look at. Where we're coming up now is the POW MIA Memorial Area. This statue is rather striking me. It's, it's kind of amazing. The statue is called To Live by Eric Hollander. And over here is the rest of the POW Memorial Area. Code of Conduct is one that you memorized if you're going into an area where you could potentially be taken prisoner. That was what you lived by in order to hopefully succeed in your captivity and get released or escape. Right now, there are still people missing in action from as far back as the Korean War. And they are still labeled as missing in action. There are those who are still labeled missing in action from World War II, but I cannot say for certain if they're still labeled as missing action, or at this point, they've been declared presumed dead. Either way, it's still a very sad feature. Well, I mentioned at the beginning that this is not a very long path, and we're actually coming up on the last two spots where they have a little bit of a memorial or some sort of placard. Please leave me your comments or anything you want to say about this short video. Well, not so short, but video. And I would love to hear what you have to say. If you're interested in the local area and want me to research something for a future video or live video, please let me know. I'm more than happy to take requests. My philosophy, as I keep telling everybody, is we remember the past so that we can be better in the future. And if we start forgetting the past, well, then we're going to be bad, in short. So with that said, I want to make this as engaging as possible. Hopefully as technology allows me to and time allows me, I'll be able to do more live videos, more shorter YouTube videos, things of that nature. And speaking of that, please make sure to follow me at Instagram at the wandering historian underscore after the underscore after wandering and on YouTube you can find me as well as the wandering historian. Obviously, if you're seeing this on Facebook, you already know where to find me there. That building, far from the distance, that is the McCord Club. Almost every base has a club. It used to be they would have an NCO club, an enlisted club, and an officer's club. And now they just have one club. So the last two markers that I'm going to highlight for you are right here. The first one is dedicated to all those Air Force recipients of the Medal of Honor. And the next one, pardon the bumpy video, is dedicated to one individual, John Jokin. But that's the kind of stuff families can do for their loved ones. All right, with that, that is the entire Memorial Grove, Memorial Path, walk, however you want to call it. I really hope you enjoy the first ever live video, and hopefully there'll be a few more to come. 
Thank you for your time, and I'll see you again later. This is the Wandering Historian, signing off.